iOS 7 notifications look basically the same as uh, previous versions, such as iOS 6. Uh, the notifications still show up in your lock screen in this list that you can scroll through. And then in order to open a specific notification, you can uh, simply scroll across it still, uh, and then it'll ask for a passcode or unlock your device, and it will open the corresponding app. So in this example, since this is an email, when I swipe across here and it unlocks, it will automatically open the email. Now what's new in iOS 7 is that from the lock screen, you can access Notification Center. Uh, in previous versions, you were only able to open the Notification Center uh, if your phone was unlocked already. So now you don't have to unlock, you can just open Notification Center uh, from the lock screen, and Notification Center looks a little different now. At the top, we have three options. We have Today, All, and Missed. So uh, today gives us a nice glance at the day ahead. So we get the date, and then we get any birthdays, <clears throat> excuse me, and all day events, and then timed events. Uh, so you can see uh, it'll tell me the first thing that appears on my calendar for today. If we scroll down, we get a, a view of uh, most recent hours, reminders, stocks that are in my stocks app, and then a look at tomorrow. Uh, so it says that I have two events scheduled. First one starts at 12.30. Other than that, the morning uh, looks pretty clear. At the top again, if we go to all, these are all of my notifications uh, from my apps. So uh, there's a notification from the App Store informing me that it updated some applications and then uh, some mail notifications. Then if I go to missed, these are notifications that I have not yet seen, I have not yet cleared, uh, things that I have missed, such as uh, notifications, again, that I have not seen, like missed calls or emails like this. And that is the notifications sensor. And of course, when you unlock your device, you can still access Notification Center by pulling down. Notifications that appear while you're using your device also look the same, just with the new interface uh, added into them. Settings for the Notification Center can be found uh, similar to iOS 6 in Settings and Notification Center. And here uh, there are some new things with the new Notification Center, such as the, the Today View. So you can turn off the uh, Today View altogether if you want, or you can turn off uh, certain aspects of the Today View. You can even, if you go up to Edit, you can move things around. So if I want my stocks higher in the list, I can move them higher. We'll put them back where they were, and then Done. And then the rest of it is the same uh, as iOS 6.